Hey YouTube, how you going? Um, I'm Sam. Uh, this is my first proper attempt at a YouTube film, so we'll see how this goes. Um, right now I'm doing some iterative testing. Um, I've been trying to get my retraction and prime settings dialed in. And I've been playing around with this little tower. Um, and I've gone through quite a few. And I've been just making little changes in the slicer each time and not necessarily for the better as you can see this is currently where I'm up to and so far um, it's getting pretty close I'm still having trouble with these little gaps here higher up but I've now after a few goes at stuffing up and getting it good again um, got these little posts pretty close to how I want them um, so basically what I've been doing is playing with the if you look up here the retraction um, settings. Um, now I did all this earlier, but I did it all at 10 millimeters retraction, which I found out is way too much. So I brought it back down again, and I'm sort of redoing this all again. Now I'm currently using a 0.6 millimeter nozzle, um, which has been a bit fiddlier to dial in. Uh, where are we up to? So looking at the, I was just using a retraction extra prime amount here of about, funnily enough, three and a half. Uh, millimeter squared or whatever that is, I think was working um, reasonably well. And then I turned it off altogether for the first one of my little tests. So I've been saving all my profiles that I'm using for these tests with numbers that correspond to the towers. So looking at uh, the first one, can find it there. Um, I actually had the Retraction extra prime amount, wherever it's hiding, at uh, 0.15. There we go. Um, so now I've uh, started playing with the uh, scalable extra prime. So if I go back through some of my other profiles, I'll just jump to the middle somewhere at number 5. Um, I think at that time I might have still been using still been using a retraction prime extra amount of 0.35 there and that's so if you look at number five over here on the towers. That one there was with 0.35 millimeters of extra prime and still getting the gaps at the top. The bottoms are working pretty well. That was all pretty nice. Um, notice up until this point, these guys here, I've also done a few other things with the settings as well while I'm at it. I've fixed up the number of walls so that I wouldn't get those little holes in the bottom of the steps. And the only one I'm getting now is on the Z seam. Uh, right at the very start, so that's obviously related to what's going on up here. Um, it's the only spot that was happening, just like the rest of the back of that's turning out nice, except for at the top there, which is a different issue again. So this is a good little temp t test tower right here, a little test temple. Um, let's get a few more close-ups as, as it progresses along there. <coughs> So yeah, then I think it was number six or seven. I cranked up the. Uh, yeah, there it is. I put that on zero. So basically, I've just been playing around with those settings, long and short. Um, and I will probably enter a positive figure in the retraction prime extra amount shortly, and just have a little bit there for a standard, and then uh, end up making it so that there is a minimum trouble figure here. But I'm just sort of trying to tweak both ends of the spectrum here at the moment. So number seven, I tried 0.35 as a maximum and a minimum to just see what would happen. And you can see there, that's with both of the both 0.35 as a minimum and a maximum. Now what I can't get my head around is why with a zero extra prime amount and with a 0.35, ah, I see. They're millimeters, not millimeters squared. That explains it. So, 
For now, I'm just having this little mind game. Uh, millimeters here for the minimum extra prime. And then if you look up further, for the regular extra prime, retraction extra prime amount, we see that it's measured in millimeters cubed or squared or whatever that is. So that's very interesting why they chose to use a completely different measurement there for that, but we will uh, persevere. Anyway, um, that's what I'm up to, and um, as we speak, there's another one printing up, and let's have a look at my book at that, see how it's coming along. This should hopefully be better than the rest of them so far. Um, it's not looking too bad at the moment. Strings going on. The towers are looking pretty straight. This could be a good thing. Anyway, uh, thank you, YouTube.